Souls 3 video um, and today we're going to be doing some PvP these not going to be really long videos unless you guys want them to be longer then let me know but it's pretty much talking about strategies with the different builds this is my dex build I'm going to show you some of the stuff in my dex build briefly um, but just to get a head start on that I'm using the chaos blade plus 5 and uh, on and Ubidachi plus 10 sharp I'm using Ferris Black Bow plus 10 and the Gold Eagle Shield plus 4. Oh, and a Power Man to hand, but that's just that's for only Power Within, and I don't really use that in PvP. Um, but I really like this build. Um, the next video is going to be my Mage build, which is the one I really fell in love with. But I like this build too, and it's level 93. My Mage build is never line, level 90. Can't talk. And uh, they're low level builds, but Vigor's 30, Endurance 25, Vitality 25, Strength 20, Dex 45, Faith and Luck. Faith 7, no, Luck is 7, Faith and Intelligence is 10. And they'll go to weapons that I was telling you about using the black armor set with the ninja arms and pants. I'm not sure what the name of those pants are. And uh, the ring that I have, uh, Hornet Ring. I have the ring that make it where your weapon degradation doesn't go down, which I probably should take off in pvp but uh let's focus on this fight this was kind of a mm, semi-long fight this fight really um i lost it because i didn't know if i could parry that two-hand hallberg which i think i can now but i thought it was unparable when you two-handed because it was so heavy that when you hit the ground at a certain length it staggers you the weight the thing that i did wrong was i um there were a couple pokes i should have been way more patient with this guy um but I went for a couple jumping attacks. Not that one. I didn't get punished on that one. But another one I got punished on. Um, there were some pokes that I went for that were good. Um, there were some attacks that I should have done. And like I said, I probably should have tried to parry early on. See how that staggered me? That made me kind of secondhand if I could parry him or not. Which he just plays the trade game. He honestly, he has range and he wanted to trade. And I traded with him a couple times, which, like I said, cost me. And then he he wanted the trade, so he and he wanted the uh, trade in the combo, because you can almost four hit combo somebody if you use the weapon on it. I screwed up on that. See, so yeah, I trade. He traded, and so he wanted to, that would have killed me if I wouldn't have been able to roll out of that. Which I think at one time you could not, you could not roll out of that. But yeah, so. It kind of goes downhill at this point because I trade with him again, and that's it. Which is what he wanted. He wanted to trade. Because, I mean, I think that weapon has decent hyper armor. And he had on, looked like the Legion chest and arms. Like, he had on decent set to where he could trade, too. Yeah, he had, he had, on, he had on some poise on him. So, like I said, I put myself in a bad situation at that point. All right, so this next fight, this guy was really cheesy. He was just a R1 spammer um, for the most part. And uh, he pays for it, but pretty much he does. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. He does do some smart things. Um, one, he blocks a lot of my attacks with that shield. One, because he knows I'm doing damage to myself with the Chaos Blade, which once my health get low at the end of the fight, I switch weapons. But uh, he gets really spammy. I end up parrying him. But uh, he never used the, he never used the special combo. It, it it can be a four hit combo. He never uses it. He just he goes for the running attack the whole time. So I got a couple pokes in. And like I said, I end up parrying him because he just he gets really spammy. Like really spammy. And that's all he does is he just go for the run attack. Or he'll go for the run R1, and that's it. That's all he did. See, and I knew he was going to do that, so that's why I was able to pull him off. Part of Ring does his job, gets his health real low. Um, this fight gets really tight toward the end because of some of my mistakes. Like, see, the speed, I shouldn't have even, I shouldn't have even contest that at all. That was really silly on my part. And his health is really low. 
tried cheesing with arrows. It doesn't really, I mean, not arrows, but throwing knives. Didn't really work. He had his shield up. He was ready for that. And then I'm knocking my health low. So I have to get smart and switch weapons because I'm just blocking the shield. And I'm thinking that I can possibly get a kick off on him. But I'm really trading health. So that's why I switch. I, I'm trading health for that, which wasn't smart. And we go back and forth. He clips me with that, that phantom range. Should have got that. That was a bunch of BS. Bunch of BS. I thought I kicked the shield. I don't know why I didn't stagger him. Anyway, we go with this weird exchange. I pull out the two because I was hoping to catch him with that. <laughs> I didn't. And I baited the attack. He got really comfortable. And see, he was just really spamming that attack. But I mean, if that's the strategy that you can get. I mean, do what you can do to win, I guess. He got me with that last one. I knew he was at that point I knew it was gonna be he was gonna get really aggressive. He was gonna throw knives. Like see how how we both one percent. And he I got him on that rollout. And that's it. This fight. This fight was pretty cool. I fought I watched this guy fight an, uh, another guy earlier. And pretty much what he does to another guy is what I do to him. Um he gets really really aggressive with his katana and uh he spams that running attack like most people. And he catch the roll parry. Which is kind of what people do. People do that. He was kind of a faith build. I wonder what, what talisman he was using. Anyway. I was waiting for him to do something. See how he just wants that running attack? He even tried to like... uh, That took a lot of damage too. <laughs> he even tried to like... Throw me off with the run attack on the thing. But he really wanted the run attack. Like that's what he wanted. And he came for the trade. And that is the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all want more fights or want more length, let me know. But I'll holler at you guys later. Thanks for watching.